How often do we finish a painting, we look at it and say it's good, it's bad, and we set it aside and we move on to the next one? Well, this is a major flaw in our learning. There are valuable lessons that we can take away from every painting that we create. So today, I'm gonna to show you a simple but powerful tool that I use to track my progress over time, to know what I need to work on in my paintings, and most importantly, to keep a solid perspective in my painting progress. Let's take a look. I have a free gift for you. Watercolor is not a very forgiving medium. It's hard to correct. So having a plan from the beginning is crucial. That's why I created this free video lesson, Seven Secrets of Fresh Powerful Painting. I give you seven powerful tips that will help you plan your painting, mindfully paint your scene, and most importantly, know when you are done and avoid overworking. Many students have already watched this video lesson and are seeing great results, and I know that it can help you out as well. All you have to do is follow the link in the description down below, and you can start painting more fresh and powerful paintings. All right, back to the video. If you take a look at the best athletes in the world, the people that are at the top of their game and whatever their field might be, they all have something in common. They all take time to reflect. A professional golfer might record their golf swing. A musician might make a recording of their song that they're working on. Sports teams watch film to study and practice the game. But so often, this type of reflection is neglected when we are trying to improve as a painter. For the longest time, I would finish a painting. If the painting was successful, and I got good feedback on it, I'd feel confident. I'd feel good about it. If I struggled and created something I wasn't happy with, I would begin to doubt myself as a painter, doubt myself as an artist. And so I found myself on this up and down roller coaster of positive and negative emotions, but the reality was somewhere in the middle. And often that reality is hard to see if we are just reacting to whatever our most recent work is. We can work as hard as we possibly can, but if we don't know what to focus on or what to work on, we're kind of spinning our wheels and we're hoping that we will work on the right thing and just through sheer hard work and determination, we will improve and that is possible. A lot of people do improve that way. But if you're wanting to speed up your learning and have a more focused approach, I think that you're really gonna appreciate what I'm gonna be teaching about today. If we wanna improve in anything in life, we need two main ingredients. We need hard work and we need reflection. We cannot have one without the other and create meaningful progress. Now I'm gonna show you the powerful tool that I use to track my work over time to learn what areas to focus on and to keep solid perspective in my painting progress. Step one, we want to be taking photos of our paintings. Now this is pretty natural, especially in the time of social media, but the only way for us to gain perspective in our work is for us to be able to reflect back on it. We need photos of our work. Step two, create a document that you can put these photos in. I use Google Docs, and here is my reflection document. Step three, try to consistently add photos to this document. I don't know what your painting rhythm is, I don't know how often you are painting, but try to set up at least a weekly time where you add paintings to this document. For me, it's every Sunday night. Every Sunday night, I look back on what I've painted this week, I put them in the document, and then I reflect on them. So once you have a rhythm, once you're adding to this document regularly, the next step is to reflect upon your work. So here is an overview of my reflection document and I just throw paintings in. Sometimes I have more to say about paintings than other times. Sometimes I just put the paintings in and say it was a good week of painting and that's it. But to get the most use out of this, it's good to 
really take a look at your work and talk through it. So let me pull up an example for you. Okay, so here's a painting that I did fairly recently. Good atmosphere, good light effects, good sense of distance in the scene. Figure is pretty good. Reflection seems to be messy. Bottom left corner could be darker. Too many verticals, question mark. Did they have any too many vertical lines? All these reflections were vertical. Overall, 6.8 out of 10. I just, that's a goofy little rating system. But what I've done is I've taken some time to look. I've made some general observations and I've made a few notes. You don't need to go overboard and have intense critiques of yourself. But the important thing is that you're creating a log of your work. You're taking some time to reflect and you're making a couple notes. So here are a few other of my paintings and some notes that I've made. July 31st, I had a good week of painting. I'm dedicating more time to studying and painting. I did have a really bad painting on Friday, but I'm learning to be more resilient and keep things in perspective. I feel optimistic about my dedication to improving. That is the goal here. Feel optimistic about your dedication to improving. I can scroll through and see all the work that I've put in over these weeks to continue to improve as a painter. And that's a big part of what this reflection is about as well. Let's see if I have another one that I can show you. Some basic observations. Strength of sky is good. Something is off with the values. Good car or good figure. Car is too big. Good sense of light. Good truck on the left. A little more detail needed on the buildings in the middle ground. Uh, top painting. Love the figure. The road could use more texture. Too much texture on some of the trees. Some of my darks are in the center of the painting here when I should focus my strongest values here on the focal area. Good atmosphere, confident brush strokes, highlights look good, sky looks good, water could have been darker to push the light, emphasize the green light on the boat to give it a little more interest. There's a little green light on the boat. I wanted to emphasize that a little bit more. Good values and sense of light, good brushwork on branches, Perspective on railing on the house on the left is a bit off. Darks seem messy. Perspective on peaks of houses could be cleaner. Don't outline. Some of the fine lines look a little sloppy. Some of the windows are off and needed less attention. These are good notes. These are good things for me to keep in mind as I move forward. Painting outdoors gives me a new spark. I'm really enjoying it and the challenge. These are all outdoor paintings. So once you have done this over a little bit of time, you can scroll through and read your comments. And here's what you want to look for. Am I seeing any comment more than once? Am I seeing any comment more than twice or three times? Is there a common theme within these observations? And if there is, that's something you can start to note and consciously work to improve on. So if you see the issue of values continually popping up, make a note of it. Figures, drawing in perspective, any of these things that you see popping up more than one time would be a good option to set aside some time to focus on. So if we can use this system to learn what to focus on, make observations in your work, you're going to know what to work on as you continually move forward to improve. Well, I hope that you found this information helpful today. Perspective is so important in our learning. Taking time to reflect, taking time to recognize all the times that you showed up and painted when it would have been easier to do something else. This is so important as we make strides in our learning, as we move forward and hope to improve as an artist. So thank you for spending time with me today. Time is the most valuable thing that we have, and I really appreciate you sharing some of your time with me. As always, if there's something that you would like me to make a video about concerning watercolor, leave that in a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Keep working, keep practicing, keep moving forward in your learning, and I'll see you next time.